Hey guys, so I have been putting off vlogging, partially because we have been crazy busy, and partially because the third IUI didn't work. We were leaving town, um, we went to Nashville for Dallas to play um, drums at the Rock the South Country Music Festival with the Welch Brothers. We had to go travel to Nashville for him to rehearse for a couple days and then all of us went down to Alabama uh, for the festival. Now we are finally back. We're in High Point. We're at um, Dallas's parents' house. There's been a lot of thinking and praying and discussing happening. We are not doing a fourth IUI right now. We were going to Nashville when I needed to be at the doctor's office so it would have messed up our trip so I really couldn't have done one right the second anyway and then also with my mom's coming into town this next week yay we are going to the lake we're celebrating our five-year anniversary in a couple weeks we have Zach Mashburn's wedding and Jamin McKeever's wedding in Ohio that we have to travel to and there's just there is so much going on so we decided that at least through August, we are going to fully give it to God, place it in His hands, and we're trusting and hoping that um, maybe getting off the medicine is what we need. Maybe we need a month break, a two-month break, and God will work His magic touch. Well, that is our prayer right now. If you guys would continue to pray that with us, we would appreciate it. In the meantime, I just learned what a hope chest is. I don't know if you guys know what a hope chest is, but I didn't until this weekend. It's like a big cedar chest that gets like passed down through families to the women, and they get to stock it with all kinds of stuff that they want for when they get married. So it's in hopes of getting married, you put like pots and pans and towels and I don't know, lingerie, whatever you want to put in there. I think that is the cutest idea. I wish I hadn't had a hope chest for our marriage, but I didn't. So instead, I'm going to make a hope chest for our babies. I think this is an awesome idea. And I love shopping, so I get to go start buying stuff for babies. And um, I'm actually going to do a hope box. And I'm going to do one for each child that Dallas and I have always dreamed about. We have dreams of having five kids. Jet Keith Morgan and Oliver Ace Morgan. Those are our two boys. And then we have Kylie Pearl. Morgan, we have Scarlet Grace Morgan, and we have Lila Rain Morgan. So those are our three girls. We have been talking about these five kids since before we got married. We picked out names, and we are ready to be parents. I found these cute little hat boxes that are like a round circle hat box at Hobby Lobby. They're not on sale, so I haven't bought them yet. I'm going to go buy like one at a time with a coupon. I'm a bargain shopper. I'm going to get a hat box for each um, baby and make it my hope box. So we'll have like a hope box for Jet and for Oliver and for Lila Rain and for Scarlett and for Kylie. In the meantime, I am going to make onesies to put in each of their boxes with like iron-on letters that have their names on them. So I'm going to run to the store and when I get back we will make their onesies or at least one of them today. I am at Hobby Lobby. I'm getting a little baby onesie um, for my baby hope chest and I'm gonna get some iron-on letters and go home and start on my first onesie. Dallas and I have always talked about our firstborn son being named Jet. Jet Keith Morgan and that is the first onesie I'm going to make. We believe that God is going to give us that baby boy one day and he's gonna need some clothes to wear. I've got my onesie laid out I've got my cute little gray chevron letters that are iron on, and I've got the iron heating up. Gonna make sure they're laid just right, and uh, now I'm gonna press the iron on it. Hey, my first onesie is done. This one's for Jet. It's so cute. I can't wait to put this on his little body. Doing something like this has been just a really positive experience for me. I need to be proactive, and so, um, I encourage any of you to make a baby hope chest um, or do something that will give you hope. For me, this is it for now. And I know that one day, hopefully this next month, God is going to fulfill this desire that's in my heart and put a little baby in that onesie.